हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू सीक्रेट हॉर्सेस चैनल टेन हॉर्स ऑफ साउथ अमेरिकन इफ यू आर अ डिवोटी ऑफ हॉर्सेस यू नो दैट देयर आर क्वाइट अ फ्यू हॉर्स बीक्स एंड इट कैन फ्रीक्वेंटली बी हेल्पफुल टू सॉर्ट देम इनटू डाइवर्स कैटेगरीज टू ऑर्गेनाइज देम बेटर समटाइम्स इट्स इजियर टू सॉर्ट देम बाय हाइट और स्पीड बट दिस टाइम विल बी सॉर्टिंग देम बाय रीजन If you haven't looked at South American horses yet, you are in for a treat. So as we go over each breed, we'll show you a picture of what it looks like along with some in-depth information so you can know a little more about it to see if it would be correct for your stable. South American horse breeds. Number 1, Brazilian Sport Horse. The Brazilian Sport Horse is a moderately new breed. that breed is created in 1970s despite its youth it's already competed in the olympic games it's a high patience horse recognized for its liveliness and power it stands out 16 hands tall so it's taller than many other breeds it's an energetic quiet and willing breed that many owners review favorably About 50 of these horses are exported to the United States each year. Number 2, Camperio horse. The Camperio horse may be the descendants of Santa Catarina Islands lost horses and may also be offspring of Spanish horses they bought during expeditions and formed the feral population in the area encompassing Rio Grande, the Parana Plains and Araucaria Forest. It is a smaller sized horse standing about 14 hands tall and weighing about 950 pounds. The island inhabitants let these horses become feral and their population grew to large amounts. Currently, it's a familiar breed available in gray, chestnut and bay. The Camperio horse initiated from Spanish and Portuguese stock that was bought to Brazil by Captain Alvarez Nunes. in the 1540s the horses were not discovered until 1728 when another expedition stumbled upon them a couple of years later a few hundred camperio horses were caught by explorers and when the first plantations were established in the area the breed actually took off settlers captured the horses and selectively bred them to improve their natural ambling gait In the 19th century, thoroughbred and Arabian stock was added to refine the Camperio's looks and develop performance. After many generations of cautious breeding, the Camperio had become a tough, flexible farm horse with very comfortable paces. A breed association was established in 1976 and a stud book opened in 1985. Number 3 Campolina horse. The Campolina is a riding horse from Brazil. It dates back to the late 1800s and is still existing in several colors. It extends about 15 hands high and has a smooth four beat ambling gait. This gait causes the horse to have a smooth ride without the bouncing you may experience in other breed. Number 4. Chilean horse. The Chilean horse is another descendant of the horses brought to America from Spain. It's the oldest horse in South American registry and owners generally use it for ranching. Yet they also use it as a military horse due to its bravery on the battlefield. It's a strong horse that is unaffected by disease and heals fast. It generally stands between 13 and 14 hands tall. and is available in several colors 